Crab Ninja. Okay. Oh my God, look at that actual technique, dude. Look at Are that. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy Melanakis. I like to combine cheap grocery items with rare and fancy things because it turns me on. I'm the Fat Prince. Hello, this is Andy Melanakis, and welcome to another episode of Fat Prince with my real life friend and chef, Michael Voltaggio, from the lovely Ink Sack and Ink. And he's my friend. Hi, friend. Hi, pal. And later on, the lovely Matthew Gray Goobler is going to join us from Criminal Minds. We're going to be cooking up some ill fat princified dishes. So what do you got for me? We're making Lunchable Veal Oscar. Basically the classic dish was made for a king. You're a prince. We're promoting you today. <laughs> Ow! I am King Crab! Hiya! We've got king crab legs. Sick. We've got Lunchables. What is the, the meat inside this? Lean turkey, white breast meat only. This is our veal. Like I don't know if I want to eat it or just play with it. That's what I said about your dick. <laughs> <laughs> It's served with hollandaise sauce, and then you've got uh, white asparagus. AKA albino pygmy dicks. Mmm. All right, let's get cooking. Uh, tell me what's first, and I'll be your little bitch. The veal part, you could just I'll unwrap it them. and separate the meat onto the plates over there. I'll start making hollandaise sauce. The only thing that's in here is the reduction of vinegar, shallots, uh, tarragon. Egg yolks. Tarragon. Can I try? Look, the crab is making his own Bernays sauce that's gonna go on top of him. It's very sadistic. This is like David Lynch. What you don't want to do is scramble the hollandaise sauce when you're making it, but if that happens, it's okay. Just add a little bit of cold water to it. it takes some fucking real muscle. You want to cook it until it's like ribbon, so basically where it kind of goes back and forth. You go like that, uh -huh. then you start adding butter to it. So this is clarified butter. And you take that by taking out the solids. Just put it on low heat and wait till it separates. All right. I need you to give me a, a slow drizzle. A drizzle, my nizzle. Golden showers are my favorite kind of time. Slow down. All right. So see all the fat that's separated? We got to yeah. whisk that into it. Now it's getting too thick. So then you take the either the reduction or the water and just neutralize the thickness all with right. it and thin it out Let's a little Let's neutralize. Bit. More? Usually, yeah. Damn, dude, Bernays has a lot of fucking butter in it. It's usually like two ounces per egg yolk. Maybe I should have a sip of this. How's <laughs> that? Mm. Good? Yeah, it's pretty mm. good. We're not gonna add any more of that to the sauce. <laughs> oh, because I put my lips on it? Season it. Next, um, I just gotta break the crab real quick. I wanna get really inventive right now. I'm gonna crack open the crab with a dinosaur. Just. Because I think that's how he would have wanted it to be done. Dude, look at that. This is what's called the five second rule. Mmm. You ever go to the beach with your grandma? She's been in the water for way too long, like an hour. You think she might have drowned to death? But she runs back at you and she's like, Hey Andy, I'm all right. I just went for a long swim. And then you give her a nice wet kiss on the mouth. That's what this tastes like, exactly. <laughs> Back to the bread. Back to the grill again. The grill again. We're we'll calling baguettes. Baguette oh, croutons. We're that getting we're so make. fancy, dude. Now, now you know how Fat Prince works. We just call things by the fancy name. Ooh, they're getting all toasty and buttery already. It's more like brioche, I think. Not baguettes, brioche. That's a little too much. You ever notice like all the restaurants today are putting like soils and crumbles and all that stuff on yeah. all the dishes? It's like there's dirt all over the place, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we can take God the Pringles and the, the brown parts of the Oreo uh -huh. and make like a crumble for the dish. We gotta Ooh. make it fancy, so. So this is like a Pringle and Oreo dirt, we'll call it, because that makes the menu read better. I mean, it's all about. I like that. What yeah, are we gonna do with the right uh, with the juice boxes and the Capri Suns and stuff that came in the package? Can we reduce it with the pygmy dicks? That's not a bad idea. Kool-Aid seasoning on the pygmy dicks. Ooh, they're turning nice and pink. Yeah, that vinegar element, so we don't over-sweeten it. You know, it's ready. To be honest, it's the first time I've made Kool-Aid glazed asparagus. Uh -huh. we, might, we might have to just taste it. Should we see. taste one? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's like Kool-Aid asparagus char siu. <laughs> I like how thinly you sliced it. Too. Wait, that's, wait, that's... wait, wait. This is one of the best movies of all time. Breakfast Club, bitch. Try the cheese, maybe that'll work. Oh, Ooh. we both got it. Get a little caramelization on the meat. 
All right, um, so we've okay. got our turkey. The crab meat's the last thing that we've got to do. We're going to baste the crab with the butter. Should we put the meat down first or the crab down first? I would start with this. I think like negative space is big today. I so we'll, tell we'll that stick to with girls that. when they make fun of my dick. Oh. We have a bunch of crab left over. We can make some crab lollipops with that. Should we go all the way? <laughs> Let's go all the way, baby. It's the only way to go. Elegant. Yeah, put like three or four pieces of turkey across each. Super elegant. Put the wine pairing out. Dessert. This is looking really sexy now. And those big ass pieces of crab. Mmm, mama. Ooh. Now it's looking scandalous. Mmm, mama. That looks like a fancy motherfucking dish. Let's plate it up in the seats and like, let's get ready for our lovely guest. He's probably hungry. Andy. Is it cool if I hang out here for like a couple, couple moments? Okay, this is the portion of Fat Prince where we eat the food that we cooked and we're here with our guest, Matthew Gray Goobler. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. You wanna describe this meal? What you have here is uh, veal Oscar, which is traditionally hollandaise sauce, asparagus, and veal meat. Uh, with crab. We recreated that with the Lunchable meat, uh, the crab, the white asparagus, which is actually glazed in Kool-Aid powder that came with the Lunchable. Okay. So this is Kool-Aid Kool -Aid glazed asparagus yeah. with an Oreo and Pringle crumble, uh, Bernays sauce, king crab, and the turkey that came in the Lunchable is your dish. I'm very excited. It smells wonderful. That's fucking disgusting, by the way. I apologize for that. You sorry. can rinse it down with that. You can chase it with I'm the sorry with the warm. <laughs> Let Cheers, guys. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Is that butter? <laughs> no, it's parquet. Parquet. Mmm. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. What's your favorite part of this dish, Matthew? I think the weird combination of like sweet and fish. I'm scared of fish, actually. I usually don't eat a lot of fish. Really? This is marvelous. You know I've never opened a Capri Sun in my life. Stab it really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you just squirted it on me. I want a girl who could squirt Capri Sun at me. Cause like, the other stuff is good, but I like it to be fruit flavor, ladies. So, it's about that time. I wrote some question for you guys to ask each other. Who do you like better, Kim Jong-un or Gail Simmons? <laughs> I'm like afraid to answer that. <laughs> if you could choose any food in the world, what would you eat off of Tom Colicchio's head? Probably a piece of bread or a cracker. <laughs> a piece of bread? <laughs> yeah, just, what if you had, it had to be a food that you ate with a utensil, like a soft utensil so you're not gonna cut into his head or anything? Like this. But you it's have to actually good. eat something that's cooked. How about that, can I wear your glasses? Yeah, they're really foggy from butter and grease. But oh, you, I, can, you can just wipe them off a little bit. No, I kind of like What about like okay. fondue? That's just valid. Just smear it all around. I'll go with that. Why is your restaurant named Ink? Do you love squid ink? I have killed an, I, an octopus in the wild and you actually have to grab it and bite its brain. Like, you, and when you, I'm dead serious. While it's wrapping its arms and stuff around you, you have to look at it between its eyes and bite its brain until it stops. You're it. basically telling me you're the predator. Bite oh, its brain. It. Don't even bite its brain. Yeah. Do it. Ooh, this might cut a little close to the bone. Do you make fun of your brother for beating him on top of Chuck? <laughs> I don't, I try not to make fun of my brother for anything. Yeah, Who's more handsome, yeah. him or you? Uh, I am. <laughs> Andy is such a little baby, he's only eaten ink sack so far and not at the main restaurant. Can I take Andy on a mandate there? I'll pay extra if he's rude to the customer. I like what it says, I'll pay extra. <laughs> I'll pay extra if he's rude to the customers or shows up in flip flops. And I promise this. Yes, that's okay. Sick. Yes. Yeah, you guys, yeah. Ah! Matthew. Mm hmm. Go for the face. You were born in Vegas. I was born in Las Vegas. The uh, cliche phrase is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Since your birth happened there, why didn't you just stay there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mic'd in, sorry. Um, I love Las Vegas, I mean, I do live there, actually. I, um, I, I, I work here primarily, though. When I'm not working here, I'm in Las Vegas. Uh, my friend Andy here has started writing a biography for you called Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh! <laughs> Will you co-sign it? 
Of course I will co-sign it. Are you kidding me? Has anyone yeah. made that joke? No, already? honestly, nobody's made. Nobody has. I mean that. It sounded sarcastic when I said it, but I mean it. You were in Life Aquatic. Can you tell us a Bill Murray story, or at least tell us what he likes to eat? We would go to restaurants, and he would stay after. He would help bust the tables, and like by the end of the night, the waiters and the restaurant owners were so grateful. One time, I remember the guy, the owner of this restaurant, this little place in Rome, took a like a mandolin off the wall and presented it to him as a gift to thank him for being <laughs> such a great guy. He's like the nicest guy. The they didn't give you ever. anything. No, they didn't. <laughs> it's fucked up. I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, did man. it. That was great. This was honestly fantastic. Yeah, I liked it. Good job, man. We did teamwork. Teamwork doesn't seem work. <clears throat> All right, so, I mean, we could either end the show or we could break more shit. Let's or, break something. Know, we can't break these dishes. That's the only yeah. thing I promised. Why don't you break a crab leg? Yeah, buddy. Now eat some. Mmm. That's how we oh. do it. There's a little bit of toast on it, but it tastes good. That was so good, man. Thank you. It was great. Thanks for coming home. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. yeah. Three-way high yeah. five. Imagine being in middle school and just like being in class and not paying attention to the teacher and just like thinking about, man, school's fucking hard. It's really rough. And then just imagine closing your eyes and waking up like years and years later to doing this and you're actually getting paid for it. Imagine it! That's my reality, baby!